Hi everyone, welcome to another video. This yoga video is titled Yoga for Runners, but honestly, it's really for anybody who's feeling a little bit tight in the legs or needs to loosen up the lower body. Um, I know that myself, as well as a lot of other people I know, have been getting into running a lot more since the quarantine has started. Um, shout out for my friend Sam for getting me into a 70 mile May running challenge. So I know I've definitely been running a lot more than I normally have. Um, so today, if you're starting this right after a run or maybe after a cool down, um, we'll want to start out standing just to kind of keep that blood flow going, not settle down right away into our seat. So go ahead and get started in a nice wide-legged stance on your mat. And we'll have those feet slightly wider than hips with distance. Make sure the toes are facing in, heels are facing out, hands to the hips. With your inhale, sweep those arms and overhead, go nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, hands, heart center. We'll take one more breath, settle in, deep inhale through the nose, sweep those arms overhead. And exhale, hands, heart center, keep that link through the spine. And begin to bow forward, hinge at the hips. So we'll come to this halfway position. Maybe the fingertips touch the mat or the palms. Inhale, find that length through the spine. And exhale, fold a bit more. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the hands to the hips. And slowly rise all the way back up. From here, we'll lift that right arm, bind the left arm behind the lower back. Inhale to find your length. Exhale, take a slight twist, draw that right arm down toward the left leg as you bow into this fold. Again, keep that spine tall, maybe touch the mat or wrap the hand around the ankle. Inhale, slowly unwind, arm rises, come up the same way that you came in. And exhale, switch, right arm draws behind the back, lift through that left arm, grow some length through the spine. And exhale, slight twist, bow that left arm down toward the right leg. And you come to the ground or around the ankle. Inhale and wide, come out the same way you came in. And exhale, bring the hands back to the hips. You can heel to those feet back below the hips. From here, bring a slight bend knee into the left leg as you straighten that right leg. Bring that heel to the mat. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, forward fold over that right leg. You grab onto the ankle, the foot, or the ground. Really draw those hips back. If you need to keep a slight bend through that right knee, feel free to do that. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale back into that fold, maybe a tiny bit deeper. And inhale, bone by bone, slowly rise back up. Hands to the hips, we'll transition to the opposite side. Bring a slight bend through that right knee, extend the left leg onto the heel, lift those toes. Keep a slight bend through the knee if you need. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, fold over that left leg. Hands again come to the shin, ankle, or the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold maybe a tiny bit deeper. And inhale, slow rise back up, hands, hips, bring both feet back below the hips. And from here, we'll get one calf stretch standing before we come down. So if you have a yoga block, this is perfect for this. You can also get a stack of old books or the base of a shelf. Anything to kind of lift that ball to put up onto. So I have my yoga block here. I'm going to start with the ball the right foot on. And then just come up on the left toes, press that right heel down. We need a nice stretch through that right calf right now. If 
few breaths here. And then switch, step that right leg down, bring the ball left foot up here, press that left heel down, maybe pump onto the right toes. Get a really nice stretch through the calf. And then release back down, you can set that off to the side. And right here, come to a stance in the front of the mat. We'll inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands, heart center. Take a step back with that left leg. We're going to come into a lunge. So start crescent lunge. Here, inhale, sweep those arms overhead. Exhale, frame that front foot. Send those hips back, straighten the right leg. This is our runner's lunge. You have the option here to keep a slight bend through the knee. Or if you want to go a bit deeper, the leg is straight. You can come on to the heel and flex those right toes in toward you. Wherever you are, make sure you send that right hip back, left hip forward. Really square up those hips to the front of the mat. You'll notice the difference there. Beautiful. Next exhale, rebend into that right knee. Plant the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, rise for our low supported lunge. Exhale, frame your foot. Send the hips back for our Dhanavanasana, our half splint. Next, inhale, re bend that right knee. Plant the palms, tuck the back toes, lift that back knee. Step that left leg forward to meet the right. Find your forward fold from the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the hips, slow rise all the way back up. This time, we'll keep that left foot forward. Take a big step back with the right. Find your crescent lunge on this side. Arms sweep overhead. Settle in. Exhale, frame the foot. Straighten that left leg. Find your runner's lunge on this side. Again, you have that option to keep a slight bend through the knee. Or come on to the heel. Flex those left toes in toward you. Once again, we'll square up those hips. Draw that right hip forward, left hip back. Beautiful. Exhale, rebend into that left knee. Plant the back knee onto the toes. Inhale, rise, low lunge. Feel this on the front of that right hip too. Exhale, plant the palms, send the hips back, find your half split on the side, really flex those left toes in toward you. Beautiful, exhale, you're bending into that left knee. Plant the palms, tuck the back toes, lift that back knee, step that right foot into the left, find your forward fold. From here, let the head hang heavy, grab onto opposite elbows, and just begin to sway back and forth. Maybe keep a slight bend through those knees. Place any tension through the backs of the hips and the lower back. From here, exhale, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the hips, slow rise all the way back up. For this last standing pose, you can always find a wall if you need some support. Or just focus on one place on the ground in front of you. Bring the weight into the left foot, bend the right knee, catch that right foot. Make sure the knees are pretty close together. Make sure you're not splaying apart too much. You have the option to stay here. Or reach back with that left hand to also grab the foot for an added shoulder stretch. Really get into that quad. And next exhale, slowly release. Right foot meets the left. Opposite side, bend that left knee, catch the foot with one hand or both. And exhale, release, come back to that stance in front of your mat. We'll inhale, lift the arms. And 
and exhale hinge back forward fold. From here, plant the palms. We'll step those feet back to your downward facing dog. Start lifting up and back with hips to the tailbone. The shoulders draw away from the ears. Let the head hang heavy. We'll start to pedal across the feet, dropping one heel and then the other. And settle into stillness. From here, exhale, drop the knees, come into your tabletop pose. And for just a moment, we'll bring the big toes together and sink the hips back for your child's pose. Draw the arms forward, drop the forehead to the mat. We'll take this time to connect with the breath. And take three deep breaths here. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Two more breaths at your own pace. With your next inhale, begin to walk those hands back and forth the knees, sit on to the heels, draw the knees together. Take your seat here. Give the option to stay right here or tuck the toes for a stretch through the bottoms of the feet. It might feel really nice here. I'll go through two more breath cycles. Your inhale, lift everything, arms rise. Exhale, hands, heart centers, and hips back toward the heels. One more time, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, settle back in. If those toes are tucked, go ahead and untuck them. Swing the weight off to one hip and draw those legs out in front of you. In a moment, just point and flex the toes. They rotate off the ankles. And from here, keep that right neck extended forward. Bend the left knee, bring the left sole foot the inside edge of the right thigh. Flex those right toes in toward you. Inhale, arms rise. Face the torso off to that right leg. Exhale, slow as you can, bow forward. You need to draw that heart forward. Reach the arms forward. You can always keep a slight bend through that right knee here. When you can't reach any far forward, begin to drop in. You can bring those hands to the shin, ankle, or foot. Just allow the head to relax. Next, inhale, slow rise, back up. We'll step that left foot outside of the right leg. Bring that left arm behind you. Inhale, right arm rises. Exhale, twist. Look to your left, look over that left shoulder. Next, inhale, unwind. We'll set up for the opposite side. Uncross that left leg, extend it forward, bend that right knee so the right foot meets that left thigh. Flex those left toes in toward you. Inhale, arms rise, face the body off to the left. And exhale as slow as you can. Hinge over that leg. Reach forward, you can reach any farther forward. You can grab onto that shin, ankle, or foot and bow down. Next, inhale, slow rise, back up. Cross that right leg over the left. Right hand comes behind for support. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, twist, look over that right shoulder. Exhale, unwind. Uncross that right leg from the left. We'll bring both soles of the feet to connect. Body Kanasana, bound ankle pose. And bring the hands to the feet. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, slow rise back up. We'll close up the knees like a book so the soles of the feet flat to the mat. Bring the hands behind you and exhale lower down to your back. We have one final stretch here in the back. 
to really get to that IT band. So from here, we'll take a moment to reset the spine, bring the hands up to a T, drop the knees to the right, look to the left. And drop the knees to the left and look to the right. And bring the knees back to center, soles of the feet to the mat. We'll sit up for our recline, figure four, recline pigeon pose. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. With your inhale, lift that left leg. Option to clasp the hands in back of the thigh. Or bend at the knee and bring the hands in front of the shin. Wherever you are, we'll use that slight assist of the hands to draw the legs closer and toward the body. You can really feel the IT band stretch on the outside of the right leg. We'll take three deep breaths here. Just really let the assist of gravity take over. Place any tension you might be holding on to. Next, exhale, release the hands, drop that left foot back to the mat. Keep that figure four across in the legs. Bring the hands to a T, and then drop both knees over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Uncross that right ankle from the left knee. Now come to the opposite side, cross the left ankle over the right knee. Inhale, right leg lifts. Option to clasp the hands behind that thigh or in front of the shin if it's not too far to reach. I'll just settle in here. Then that IT band stretch on the left side. For three deep breaths. Maybe close the eyes here. In through the nose. And out through the nose. Full breaths, making space for the new. With your next exhale, you can slowly release the hands, drop that right foot back down to the mat, keep that figure four crossing the legs, and exhale, drop the knees over to the left, and you look to the right. back through center, uncross the left ankle from the right knee. Just take a moment to rock those knees from side to side. Maybe a few more times. And when you're ready, we'll roll all the way over onto one side. And press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. I hope this series of stretches, yoga for running, has helped you calm down after your run and your workout today. Thanks so much for joining me on my mat, and I will see you guys next time for our next yoga sequence. Namaste. If you enjoyed today's sequence and you want to keep up to date with what I'm releasing, I'll be releasing one to two new videos every single week. Uh, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and I will see you on your mats for our next vlog.